Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about the IMD generator and its connection especially CP1, CP3 and CP2 connection. For more informative video please like, subscribe and share our channel. So let's get start. This is CP1 connector, this is CP2 connector, this is CP3 connector. The connection numbering starts from left to right in each connector. Okay, so let's start with one. One, two, we count it like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so pin number one. Let's start with the pin number one. Pin number one have 15 volt, pin number two have zero volt, pin number three minus 15 volt, pin number four left blank. Pin number 5 for pre-RX signal, pin number 6 for inverter error, pin number 7 for plus 15 volt, pin number 8 for 0 volt, pin number 9 for common RX, pin number 10 for KV reference, pin number 11 for MA reference fluoro, pin number 12 for MA reference radiology. In some of the inverter uh, we see uh, in the pin number 7 there is 15 volt but in some inverter they are giving plus 24 volt in pin number 7 and pin number 8 0 volt. Uh, just like the, uh, if you take the example in Allenger CR machine there is 24 volt in 7 number pin and 0 volt in 8 number pin. Okay, let's talk about CP3 connector. CP3 connector is used for measuring the MA through MA meter. We connect our wire of MA meter in pin number 1 and pin number 3. One wire in pin number 1 and other wire in pin number 3. Pin number 2 is left blank. When we press the foot switch, we can measure we can measure the how much MA is flowing. Okay. Now pin CP2 connector. In CP2 connector, pin number 2, 2, 4 and 6 are ground. Now pin number 1 is for MA, pin number 3 is for minus KB, pin number 5 for plus KB. So these are the connection and the uh, connection of IMD generator and voltage going to the uh, IMD generator and for this kind of informative video please like subscribe and share our channel.